All right, welcome back in. So we're back at it. I've got my rig, my jig, my whatever you call it, and we're going to do empties now. So I'm going to start with thick habs first, the thickest of the thick habs, because I have a feeling people are really going to want to know if I get a huge ass space, what can I do with that big ass space? Um, so we're going to start with the Nova Galactic cargo hall in the empty. We're going to go upstairs. We're going to check out the Deimos cargo hall. And then finally, we're going to jump up to the Hope Tech Cargo Hall. I will do my best to put the little uh, sign up in this top right corner like I did before. I'm missing my notes because I'm on a different computer. So hopefully I can get the sizing and everything right like I did before. That way you can always see which one I'm in. And uh, let's hope I don't have any bugs because I've been getting some weird stuff going on. Like weird lighting stuff. Like this thing is normally brighter than this and I don't know what's going on. Let me shut this so it's not out of the way. I guess I'll just run my light. I don't like that idea because it makes things super bright. But we are starting with Nova Cargo Hall. I do like that it has nice flat walls. Uh, for RP purposes, having this handle is fantastic. Uh, for placing things on or against walls, it's a nightmare. So, you know, do what you want. This is going to be quite compartmentalized. But it does offer very nice space, very nice flat, uh, not too bad on the co on the uh, corner sections. It does have that angle to it, but uh, nice and flat. Um, it does have the more cargo look to the floor, uh, but not a whole lot of stuff overhead, which is very nice if you're looking for a more, say, living space oriented empty hab that you want to make with something or maybe make something out of I guess a few spots that'll be maybe a little bit difficult to decorate but overall definitely not bad at all I wish the lighting was working way better earlier I even updated my graphics card thinking maybe that was the problem yeah I don't know what's going on I listed it as a bug on the forums hopefully Bethesda will take a look I can see this as a, a bunk room, like a dorm room, uh, multiple different beds. You could even put some dividers between them because you do have a head in here. So that's very nice. You can still build your own, but you have one to start with. Like maybe this end could uh, be a cordoned off bathroom kind of jobby. That would be nice. Very large, very open, uh, nice and square, flat edges, mostly 90 degrees. Not quite, but mostly. Not much hanging from the, well, really not anything hanging from the ceilings. Other than, I will tell you, tall objects, these handles are going to get in the way. So are these little uh, bulkhead risers coming out like that. They're going to get in your way of tall items. All right, let's going to go upstairs to Deimos. And yes, I'm going to jump and climb because I suck at it when I go from... Once I get past the first level, I just suck at it. Like this. Why is this one so dark? It's not supposed to be this dark, and I just don't understand what it's doing. So, Deimos Cargo Hall. Um, some more issues with placement of items due to bulkheads like this, these braces... You've got some of these storage shelves. Now, storage shelves can work in your favor if you want to place items on them. It's a pain. I mean, it's it's not easy to do, but I did get a tip, and maybe it'll work for you. If you crouch first and then go into the system, that might work for you to help place items on shelving. So to give it a try, see what see what see how that works for you. Oh, this could be a very interesting spot, like maybe for a uh, display. Oh, I wish we had a Wall Murphy bed, a side Wall Murphy bed you could place up in there. That'd be really cool looking. So these kind of uh, angular walls, they're going to be more of a pain. If you want to put stuff right up against a wall, uh, unlike the Nova, which was kind of, kind of all flat like this. But it does have some good flat walls to it. Uh, also, this is another little tip I found out. Using the weapon rack, this one in particular now, oh my god, it would be an OCD nightmare. 
but uh, trying to get these lines right, you can make some really interesting wall designs of your own accord using these. It's in the... Do, do, do. Lat this one here. Go down to weapon racks and then try whichever you like. If you want to do the... This one would be a little more difficult because you can't really flip. See how the lights just changed? I don't know what's going on. Same with the triangle, but this hexagon works great. And it'll even bleed a little bit, so that could be very interesting too. Could be some really neat uh, designs that you put in your ship. Alright, back to the tour. So while this isn't so compartmentalized, it's got a lot of big open spaces, it might also be a little bit more difficult because we can't place these wall structures yet. I, I say yet because, man, it'd be cool if they give it to us. And we can literally make our own ships inside and out if we could do that. I'm sure modders will be on that shit like uh, flies on something. Um, yeah, like this little half wall plus that wall. And we, man, we can make all kinds of cool stuff. I do like having this, though. So it, it breaks up the form coming along the walls here. I almost thought that was a mirror for a minute. But it gives you something flat you can place things against. So that's kind of cool. Otherwise, the Deimos, uh, I kind of like the floor a little bit better than the Nova. It's a little bit less cargo-y like, but not so like stroud, white, shiny across, you know. All right, so let's hop up to the last. It's going to be Hope Tech. This one's going to be the most difficult. Now, I say that for a reason. It's the most open. So if, if you're really looking to do your space trucker uh, dream build, I think this one would work outstanding for you. It's these curved walls, the bulkhead walls, it, it, and the shelving. Now, something I like about the shelving, you notice how it has two shelves at the bottom it's split because of the way this curves up like that uh if <laughs> if you can get items up in there it gives you a lot of decoration possibilities there's one of these that split where this is all open so you can see it a lot better but otherwise i don't really love having the shelves i don't love the big curve because it makes it very difficult to place anything like placing anything against these curves is really difficult it just does it doesn't even like doing this flat piece, let alone doing something on a curve. Uh, this is the least attractive of the three floors, in my opinion. I would say Deimos wins for the, the more attractive. Um, this one's super industrial, just like all tin in quality. I do like these again, so you get a nice space that you can put flat things against, posters and whatnot. And I do like how open it is, man. You, you you want an open space, this is it for you. This, this is going to help you out. Uh, the roof is fantastic as well. There's very little protrusion down. So if you have tall items like some of the cabinets, you're not going to have any issue. Or stacking three boxes on top of each other kind of thing. Here you go. So you can see how these are taller. So if you have taller objects, that also will fit in a small footprint. That could work out for you. Maybe a, a display of some form. But otherwise, eh, I don't love those. This could be a nice, maybe mixed-use room, bedroom, office, live, I don't know, something. Very big, very open. Um, better of the, uh, I don't know what my lighting is doing issue. So, compared to the other two, this is not as dim, but like like this spot right here, why is it so dim right there? And what is the light right here? There is no light, and yet there's shining light right there. Perfect. It isn't Bethesda without the jank. And yet we're all still here. So, this will conclude this video. Uh, the next one's going to be a little more discombobulated because it's the three by twos i'm going to do the two by threes and three by twos all in one video it's going to be a big ass ship to do all of that so 
We'll see you back after a little bit. Thanks for watching, everybody.